Hey guys, it's Mrs. Douglas. I'm sorry, I'm working with my phone a little bit here. Um, and today we are going to be working on a really super fun STEM project. So it kind of is a little bit of STEM and art because that's what I love to do and I add a lot of art into things. But today we are going to be doing some bubble printing. So might be thinking bubbles pop, they go away, they don't really do anything. But we're gonna change that. So we are going to be using a word, whoops, if I can say it the right way, <laughs> hypothesize. And the word hypothesize means to guess. So if you are guessing what might happen or how we are gonna make some bubbles print, then that's really, really good. I want you to guess, but we're going to hypothesize and I'm gonna give you some clues here of how we might do that. So first thing, we are going to take about a cup of water around there. We're gonna pour it into a bowl right here. And we are gonna put about a teaspoon of dish soap. Doesn't really matter what kind. I'm gonna do that in there. And then for me, it worked best to use a paintbrush to mix it up because it just mixes it really, really, really well. And keep mixing, keep mixing. And then I'm gonna add some food coloring. So I'm gonna add some red. I'm gonna use a good amount of red. I'm gonna keep adding until I think that's gonna be really red. Um, you could use any color you like. You could use green, you could use yellow, you could use purple, whatever. Um, it's a lot easier if you use the liquid food coloring though. If you use the gel, you have to mix it a whole lot more, but you can definitely try that. That's totally fine. So, I have some blue right here, and I'll show you what the blue did a little bit earlier, and I was trying, and I'll put it up close so you can see it. See, it had made some fun bubbles. So I took a big index card, because it was a little bit thicker. If you have thicker paper, that's even better, but if you use regular old paper, that can work just fine. It might give you something a little bit like this. You can see it, that one didn't come out so well, but, we are gonna use some of these. You could make them into cards. You could make them into the background for some of your artwork. You could do all kinds of things with these. They're so, so fun. So after we've mixed this all together, I'm gonna mix it really good with my paintbrush again. So I've got a good red. I have a straw. Now, when I use my straw, it's very important to remember what side you blew out of. If you put this in the water and you accidentally blow on the wrong side that can be kind of gross and your mouth won't be the same color it'd be really funny but it'd be a little gross so we are gonna blow some bubbles and this makes a fun sound that's the best part if you ever like blow bubbles in your milk kind of like that so here we go are you ready all right i've got some bubbles going on there and i am going to take my index card i'm just gonna Flatten it over it and see if those bubbles work. Oh, there we go. Got some red bubbles. So we are, sorry guys. We're gonna keep going. I've got some red. And now I'm gonna see what happens when I add my red bubbles over my blue bubbles. So I'm gonna blow some more. Fun sound, I know. So I'm gonna take my one that already had blue on it and then I'm going to put some red over it. And I'm getting some really cool lines and which we all know Miss Douglas loves line and color and pattern. You can see it, it's kinda of hard to see in the light, I'm sorry. But you can start to see how they're going to overlap each other, which is another word that we use a lot in art too. So I would keep doing this and keep doing this however much you want. And you can keep going, you can do all kinds of stuff with it. So you can blend these colors. If I blend the blue and the red, I might get purple. However you want to do that. So your guess when you hypothesize, was it correct? Did you get that the bubbles were going to be colorful? Did you get that it was going to work? Did you get that it was gonna be a big flop and that it was gonna be a mess? What was your hypothesis? I hope that you can really make some super cool things with these. The possibilities are endless, which is so fun. So I really, really want to see 
what you make with this. Now there is one rule. Do not drink it. Blech. Make sure you are blowing your bubbles and not sucking the air in and you would be drinking a nasty hot mess. So don't do that. But I really hope you have a lot of fun. Now when you blow out on your bubbles, you are pushing the air from your mouth through the straw into the concoction, the mixture. So when you do that, you are forcing, you are pushing the air to do something else, which is really awesome. So then you get this cool idea going on here. So you, there's some bubbles there. So you can keep going with this. You can see what it's starting to do a little bit on mine. But I wanna see what you can do with this. There's so many things, you can do anything. So when you have those things done and ready, I wanna see you send them to Coach Scarborough because he's gonna post some things. You could decide you want this to be, you're gonna cut it out and it's gonna be a beaker like you would use in science or STEM. Oh. So you could decide this could be anything. So really, really play with it, really have a lot of fun super easy one thing before you do this make sure you have what i like to call a messy mat um, i used a cookie sheet and put tin foil down to contain the mess <laughs> i also made sure that my cups my containers were shallow so that when my bubbles come up they don't like they're not way down in there and i can't push my paper down far enough to get the bubbles on there so make sure that you've got those things and Really, I hope you have fun, and I can't wait to see him. And I want you to hypothesize, okay? Great to see you guys. Love y'all. Bye.